Alright guys, so we have had this in the boiling water for a few minutes. So I'm going to lift it out. And I'm going to place the tack back on top. Like this. This is going to help all of that volatile liquid that has spread out in the Erlenmeyer flask to recondense. So we wait for it to cool. We give it some time to cool. It will recondense at the bottom. You will lose some of your volatile liquid with this experiment. It will come out the top. It should stay in, um, but we know that it never really operates perfectly in lab. Um, after we have gotten it to recondense, we will go on a little field trip, so come with me. And what we're going to do is we are going to zero out the balance. We have our Erlenmeyer flask, we have our tin foil, and we have our thumbtack, just like the first time we masked it. And what we are going to do is we are just going to mass it again. This time with the volatile liquid recondensed at the bottom of the Erlenmeyer flask. We'll then take this reading of the mass of the volatile liquid and we will take the initial mass. The difference between the two is going to be the mass of the volatile liquid. So that is what your data means when you are given your data for this lab.